Welcome back. I have a bit of a first. I got this off of eBay. And it is my first Funko Soda. And I got it for $11. I've seen some that, you know, have been opened and they're commons and all of that. And they're like maybe $14 or, or more. But I don't know, I wanted to get one that was around the price. People seem to find them in stores and stuff, you know, like $10. But I found this for $11 and it's unopened. Which, I don't really think I'd find one. I found two at the time, but this was the only one I could really afford at the time. But, I put Pennywise out here because it's a Pennywise soda pop. And I don't know, some of the recent things I've ordered have either, I don't know, it's kind of put me off a little bit because stuff's been coming in uh, bubble mailers and that's it or boxes filled with just peanuts and not much else stuff shoved into you know a very small box with just peanuts and I was kind of afraid that this one had you know it was just filled with peanuts but it it feels like it's paper or something. Yeah, got paper. It's a really nice box, too. I think it's just a sorter. A sorter box. I am definitely going to keep that. I think it's the second, t second time I've found a really good box. It's just a really nice sorter box. But you could probably put just about anything in it. Yeah, I've always wanted at least one. And possibly if I do a trade with Scarlet, eventually, because I have the pop for it, she might be able to get me a Crusader Rabbit, and that'd be really cool. Oh, yeah. 20,000 pieces. Plus, I thought he looks quite creepy, too. I think that there's a couple different kinds of Pennywise ones you can get, like a classic one and stuff. Plus I think it's kind of nice that it's a 2020 one, something just good about the year. Figure inside. It's kind of cool, it has an it balloon and stuff on it. I don't think I've ever seen that on there when somebody's opened a a soda. It says refreshingly fun. <laughs> Tape on me. That's also kind of cool too. I don't think anyone's ever shown the... I don't know if you can see it though. Oops. But like... It has a crown and stuff on the pop tab part. I hit the microphone. Yeah, hopefully I'm not too quiet. I kind of had a headache from breathing in, like, bleach and stuff at work. And, I don't know, I just don't want to be that loud. And, but, I do want to open this. Mm, let's see. Nail clippers come in really handy if you don't. Happen to have a knife on you. What is it? Oh, it looks like the normal one. Man, that's got some fresh smell. Oh, that is really cool. Pretty nicely painted, too. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I've always kind of wanted to get one, even if it was just one, because I thought they were kind of nice. Just not at the prices some of them were going, and I've never seen them in store or stores or anything, so it's it's kind of hard to even get. But yeah, standing right there. 
right by the other one. I wonder, I'm interested in what the pog feels like too, because it always sounds really like firm or almost plastic. Nope, it's just cardboard. But it always tinks around like it could be plastic. Weird, then so the can doesn't smell like the, the figure does. Oh, just inside the bag. I just keep this little bubble patch. That might come in handy for something. But yeah, that's really nice. Plus, I've actually never seen somebody do, like, a size comparison. Like, of course the can is pretty much your average can, except this part isn't flat. But, having it next to a... Having it next to a, a pop box. Because some people put them inside of the, like, a protector, and I think that works really well. But I've still really never seen, like, a full comparison of some one being right next to it. But yeah, that's about all I have for this video. So, until next time, I'll see you guys later.